Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 5 past 11 on Sunday the 25th of July. I am reading Beyond the Mexique Bay by Aldous Huxley. It is okay. Travel writing, although a lot of it has just been him musing on various things. And at one point it got a little bit racist because he was talking about how certain races are like not as clever as other races. I'm not going to tell you which ones because you know that'd be harsh but yeah other than that it's quite good so uh, I'm gonna finish that off and then I'm probably gonna pick up Foundations Edge by Isaac Asimov because that will be the next book in the Foundation series at least the next book for me as uh, I've been working through it hello internet -y people it is Monday the 26th of July it's about half six in the evening What's new? I had my counselling earlier, that went well. I uh, went to the art centre to catch up. Well, I went to print some stuff. Uh, I got some of my um, documents from my house. I Basically, I needed a witness to my signature, so my boss at the art centre, Ruth, did that for me, which was very kind of her. Put a new poster up, dropped some cardboard boxes off, said hello to a few people, so that was good. Went to Tesco and did that as well. Uh, we're not currently required to wear masks in shops anymore. Um, but I personally would rather out of consideration for other people so I ended up with my hoodie tied around my face because I ran out of face masks in fact that's a note to self order some face masks so uh, yeah but I made it work my great aunt at the moment is in hospital she's not very well she's got COVID from what I understand she's had her two jabs but she has some family members who don't believe in the vaccinations and the family members caught COVID and then passed it on to her and she's now really not well at all. She's on like morphine and unresponsive to treatment and stuff. So that's not good. Um, hopefully she pulls through. But I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else can you say about that? I'm still reading Beyond the Mexique Bay by Aldous Huxley. I'm about two thirds of the way through now, possibly even a little bit more. So I'll probably finish that this evening and then make a start on Foundation's Edge by Isaac Asimov. Uh, my bedtime book, I'm still reading uh, Keeping On Keeping On by Alan Bennett, which is basically just 10 years of his diaries, so not particularly interesting to be honest, but I'm reading it anyway. Uh, and I'm still watching Friends, I'm giving Friends a rewatch. Uh, that was because uh, someone I was kind of dating, I went on like a couple of dates with her. Um, she's like a massive Friends fan and I was like, oh, it's been years since I watched that. And Red Dwarf, which is what I normally watch before bed, has been taken off Netflix. So I'm still watching that, even though this last... She not respond. She not replied to me. She left me unread. What a bitch. Nah, it's fine. Uh, oh, there's a fly coming at me. Little bastards. Loads of those things. Um, my landlord rang earlier, so I need to ring him back tomorrow. I need to get some insurance sorted. I have to do like four phone calls tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow I'll meet my friend Amanda as well. Because she's uh, had a beta read of my upcoming book, The Lexicologist Handbook. And um, so she's just got some like final feedback to share with me. So I'm hopefully going to meet her and go through that. So that is where I'm at. Um, I have a bit of filming time today. So I'm going to catch up on my filming. Then I'm going to do um, a bit more editing and stuff. I've just been doing some of that now actually. Editing next week's radio show. It's all go, 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 go. You know how it is. So yeah, that's where we're at. Hello everybody. It is just gone nine, quarter past nine I think on... Uh, Sunday the 1st of August 2021 I'm a bit shell-shocked at the moment because I've just found out that one of my friends passed away he uh, passed away last night I saw him yesterday so he's the guy who booked my band at the gig we played this time last week uh, that Sunday he needed the sound there and then we played again yesterday at the art center and he was there uh, so he was watching one of his friends perform and then my band played at the end and he was like watching along doing all this having a nice dance having a lovely time he bought one of our cds he gave us 20 quid even though we sell them for seven quid um but because he not paid for the previous one i think we'd just given him a copy so uh yeah last time i saw him he was in a good mood um off for some drinks i don't, don't know what happened but he was only about 26 so yeah r.i.p sam that's fucked up um yeah, reading wise, well I mean I guess I could tell you what else has happened this weekend, not that much, mostly been doing some more cleaning and houseworky stuff, done most of all that now, I did most of the garden earlier, 
Um, I have like piles of bin bags ready to go in the bin, so I need my bins to be collecting next Thursday and I'll do that. Uh, and then Saturday, yesterday, it was music in the garden at Wickham Art Centre, except we did it inside, which is a good job because it started tipping it down. And yeah, lots of musicians spoke to Sam. Um, so yeah, that happened yesterday. And then today, uh, I got up reasonably early this morning, had quite a productive day doing some work, some other bits and bobs, and then I was at the art centre earlier to help. Um, basically, we had an exhibition there, and then the exhibition moved on somewhere else, so they moved our, um, like our exhibition panels, so I was just helping to take delivery of them and move them back inside. And then came back here, found out about Sam, and then had to do two interviews, so that was tough. Uh, I finished reading Volta by Nikki Dudley, this was a 4 out of 5. Uh, I would have tapped it out but I didn't have any taps. So I was keeping notes on what pages I wanted to talk about and then those disappeared for some reason. So I can't really do a full review of it but it was a 4 out of 5, very good. Sort of crime thriller um, by an author, went to the same university as me. She actually provided me a quote um, for my poetry collection. Looks on the cover of that, uh, of Isaac Lighthouses When the Boats Come Home and uh, she runs a small publisher called Street Cake Magazine. And yeah, this was very impressive. Winner of the Virginia Prize for Fiction. Very twisty and turny crime novel. Would recommend if you're into crime. Uh, I also got this in the post, The Colour Gone Quest, the Colour Gone Quest for Answers by Ryan Milletti and M. Brian FHD. Should that be PhD? No, FHD. I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, this is one that I edited. Um, and again, you can kind of tell it's one of mine by the layout. He did some illustrations for it. And uh, yes, yeah, so this is just, I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5 because, uh, you know, I can't really unbiased edit that. Uh, and then we have Fauna Stories by David Hartley. And this is one that Isabel Kenyon of Fly on the Wall Press sent me. She was actually going to send me Volta, um, but I said I'd buy it because, again, because I know Nikki, so I wanted to buy it to show some support. And this is like a short story collection, all related to animals and stuff. Very beautifully written, quite e experimental writing. Um, I'm about a third of the way through it at the moment, and it's on course for a four out of five. And then I'm gonna read The Vinyl Detective, I think it's called, so that's coming soon. Hello, it is 11.47 on Tuesday the 3rd of August. So today's radio show went out earlier. It was a highlight show, um, which is good because those are always nice and easy to make. I've got the next two uh, shows to edit as well. Um, and then after that, I'll probably be doing a tribute show to Sam Pritchard, who is my friend who passed away, uh, sharing some of his favourite music, some memories of him. Uh, and also we'll put in one of his uh, sets because he used to do a lot of live streaming because he was a DJ. Uh, the cat is looking so cute at the moment. He's oh, he's asleep. He's asleep on the sofa. Oh, I'm gonna have to show you. I don't know what this is gonna do to the green screen. Oh, Biggie's asleep. Oh, Daddy woke him up. Sorry. Hello. You're all right down there, buddy. You having a nice sit with Daddy? Yes. Okay. Where were we? Uh, reading wise, I'm currently still reading, what is it, uh, Foundation and Earth, which I believe is the last Foundation book, which is good because it's very dull. Uh, is, I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. I'm pretty unimpressed with the Foundation series, to be honest. Um, the, at best, they've been mediocre, and so, yeah, I just think I enjoy Asimov's short stories a lot more, although even with his novels, like the Lucky Star books are great, um, some of his like murder mysteries, like A Whiff of Death was really good. Uh, obviously the robot stories are great as well. So anyway, at least I will have ticked that off. And then I'm probably going to read Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. My current TBR list, I'm down to 34 books because I DNF'd a couple that I just wasn't interested in reading. I'm reading Alan Bennett's Keeping On Keeping On, which is basically like a bunch of his diary entries. And I would say I'm about a third of that, but that's my bedtime book. I mean, might have finished it by the end of the month if I'm lucky, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that'll be one ticked off when I get to that, and obviously this Asimov. So I'm, I'm probably, this time next week I'll be pushing 30 unless I buy some more books. So that's very exciting. Other than that, I don't have too much to update you on, so yeah. Hello, it is currently 11.35pm on Thursday the 5th of August. What's new? Uh, oh, there's been a bit of drama on Facebook. Getting all kinds of stuff, like people love to throw accusations at people these days, don't they? I got, I got told 
I used a racial, a racial slur. I think they used the term racial. They definitely used a slur anyway, because I describe myself as a bit of a hippie. And apparently you can't say that because it's offensive. I don't know who to. I mean, people have called me a hippie before in a derogatory way, but I would still identify as a hippie. I don't know. Anyway, it's a bit like, I don't know, calling someone who's gay a queen or something. And they might be like, well, I am a queen, mate. You know, I'm bloody fabulous, me. So there's that, and then somebody else has taken offence to something that I posted. They've, I don't know, they've decided that... You know when people try and f like put their own intent into something else? So they've put their intent into, like, decided that I meant something different to what I meant. Which I think is very self-evident that that's not what I meant. So they've been angry about that. Um, and they've posted like a reply to it and stuff, being all upset about it. And I've just left it because I don't want the drama of an argument, but I'm also not going to apologise because I didn't do anything wrong. So that's, that's that anyway. Uh, reading wise, I'm currently reading Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I think this was actually an ex-girlfriend's brother's copy, because um, I think, because we used to live together, this was years ago, like seven, eight years ago now, and um, when we moved out she was getting rid of a bunch of books, you know, to donating them to charity, and I think this is one of the ones that I like rescued from the pile, because it says Leo, which is her brother's name. So I guess I've had this for years and just never got to it. I have read uh, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and I did enjoy it, and I'm enjoying this as well, although there are a huge number of N-bombs. So from what I understand, Mark Twain was actually quite enlightened for his time. Um, and certainly like a lot of the black characters in this, like, I don't know, there are some stereotypes and some negative bits to them, but there are some positive ones as well. I think they come across as like quite three-dimensional, which I think a lot of auth other authors didn't bother to do, you know? And just by the nature of where this is set, there's a lot of stuff about slavery and all that kind of stuff. But overall, I am enjoying it. Um, this edition isn't very good. It's got like tiny print, so it's hurting my eyes to read it. But also there are loads of typos. I think, I wonder who published this, Paragon. So you would expect better, because it looks as though someone's had a, another copy of this book and they've just like typed it out themselves and not noticed the typos and stuff like that. So yeah, very strange. But it's probably like 3.5 out of 5 and just one of those classics I do want to tick off. And then next up I'm probably going to read Robots and Empire by Isaac Asimov. Uh, other news, so in bed I'm still doing my Duolingo, I'm catching up with Charles Heathcote, I'm less than, I, I think I'm like 40,000 experience behind him. But he used to always do more than me each week and like for the last month, two months I've been slowly doing more than him so I'm slowly catching up. And actually Leo whose book this is, his dad Linville, I have uh, him on Duolingo as well and I'm catching up with him too. Um, so even though he's, he's on a 500 day streak so he's got a head start, my cat's being so cute. Aren't you Biggie, you've been so very very cute. Do you want to come and say hello? Do you want to come and be in the video? Yeah, come and be in the video. Come on. Come on. Let daddy pick you up. Come on. Yes. Right. Let's show you up, shall we? Oh, yes. Mwah. You came over to say hello, didn't you? So we've been having lots of cuddles. And um, daddy's been giving Biggie some massages, hasn't he? With his massager that grandma got for him. Uh, so there's that. I think the only other update is house stuff. Oh, it's just a fucking nightmare. So it's going backwards and forwards between my lawyers. So the seller's lawyers have sent over this information. My lawyers say they haven't received it. Oh, and then they keep having new questions and stuff. And meanwhile, time is ticking on. And so theoretically, the goal was to move three weeks tomorrow. And, you know, I don't know whether that's going to happen. The guy who's selling it is moving to Spain on September 1st and won't be able to be contacted after that. Um, but yeah, so the latest is they need a, an additional set of forms, uh, basically because some family members are giving me some money to put towards it. They need to prepare these gifted deposit forms, which we've already done for the mortgage broker and for the mortgage provider. We now need to do it for my lawyers so they can send it to the mortgage provider, even though the mortgage provider's already got it, but they need it in their own in-house forms. So yeah, that's happening at the moment. And the other thing is, is I need some kind of insurance that the lender is requiring me to have, which is gonna be like 200 quid, which I don't know. So anyway, I think we're getting towards the end now. But it's like, as I say, we have three weeks tomorrow. So 22 days now to close the sale and stuff. And in that time, I need to finish all of my packing, hire a man with a van and actually move all of my stuff. Uh, 
and if they don't do it in time, as I say, the, the seller's moving in September, and so we won't be able to get hold of him, so I don't know what would even happen then, so. But anyway, hopefully, this time next week, we should have all of the forms done. The problem is, is they keep telling me as well about new forms that they've not told me about that I need to do. So every time they do that, it's like, oh, I can do the forms and send them to you. It's gonna take you a few days. You could have told me this when you sent me the last lot of forms and I could have done both sets of forms in the time, you know? So anyway, that's where we're at. And uh, I'm gonna have to go because camera's battery's flashing at me, so yeah. Hello, everybody. It is, um 10.40 p.m. on Thursday the 12th of August. I guess this is just gonna be a super vlog and have like three weeks and I don't really have much to report. I've mostly been working. Um, my sleep has been terrible. I've been going to sleep at like 6 a.m. and waking up in the afternoon. Um, I missed my counseling on Monday, but luckily we were able to reschedule it for today. Pardon me. Biggie's down here playing with his toy. And um, obviously I have a stack of books here that I've read. I think the only other thing to mention house news um, still not quite there yet so um, basically I've done all of my paperwork now so the only thing outstanding is that the seller needs to do some paperwork basically he's saying to me his lawyers are telling him that he needs to revise um, the um, uh, the leasehold for the property even though my lawyers haven't said that and I'm gonna buy it from him soon anyway so it's kind of irrelevant but what my lawyers do need, he's not filled out one form, another form he missed a page off and he needs to confirm a few things because like his lawyers put the wrong sale price and all of this stuff. So it should take him like half an hour to do this stuff but basically I'm waiting on him and he says that my lawyers are asking for impossible stuff and they're not. So I'm just have to go the go between between my lawyers and his lawyers and him and everything seems to be falling to me even though I'm paying my lawyers like three grand for this shit. And I don't, oh, it's a nightmare. But anyway, all that needs doing is he needs to finish off answering their questions and providing these forms I've asked for. And then I pay my deposit and then I can move in. So I might still be moving in at the end of the month. I just don't know. So um, we'll see. I'll, I'll give my lawyers a ring tomorrow and give the landlord, the seller a ring, I guess. So that's where we are with that. The guy who I rent from at the moment, he now knows that I'm gonna be leaving. So he's just been pressing me for a date. And I'm like, well, I don't know, mate. Like they're not, they're not giving me any information. So I'm still in this kind of in-between phase. But anyway, doing lots of work and I read lots of books. So uh, I read Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. All right, lots of racism, probably 3.5 out of five. I think um, I might even have wrapped this one up already. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna say any more about that. Uh, then we have Robots and Empire by Isaac Asimov. I gave this one like a three out of five. It was okay, but I mean, I'm just, I'm not too interested in the Empire or Foundation books. Uh, I think I have now finished. I do like Asimov's robot stories, but I prefer the short stories to like the longer novels because I think he gets to investigate more stuff. So this thing, it just took me like four days to read and just wasn't particularly digging it while I read it. So hey ho, it is what it is. Then I read Lost at Sea by John Ronson. So this is like a bunch of, um, like his journalism basically. He goes and investigates a bunch of different things. He's the guy who wrote the psychopath test as well. Uh, did enjoy Lost at Sea, so this one was a solid four out of five. Reviews for both of these two coming soon as well. Um, so I'll go into more detail there. But yeah, basically, I think this is probably my favorite John Ronson book so far. It even had some stuff about Matt Stoney in it, who's a competitive eater who has a YouTube channel that I watch. Uh, and now I'm reading Corrings by Stephen Colgan. It looks like it should be pronounced Cockerings, but it's Corrings because British. Um, British people are weird. Um, and yeah, this is the third of his books in a series that take place in this like fictional um, British Shire in uh, Harrowwood Shire. And uh, yeah, lots of fun. It's like black comedy, very humorous. I mean, I'm literally like eight pages in at the moment, um, but I'm looking forward to finishing it off. And also it's very cool because um, I like pledge to support this book. Uh, it's published by a company called Unbound, which basically does like crowdfunding, crowdfunded book publishing. Publishing, so I might even go to those with one of my books soon. We will see. But um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Tomorrow is the open mic at the art centre, so I should go to that in the evening. Uh, I need to be on call just in case Fran, who normally works the bar, she's taking her kid off to the zoo, which is very exciting. I mean, I don't really agree with zoos because vegan power, but. Um, I'm glad they're going because the kid will really enjoy it so they'll make some nice memories but just in case she doesn't get back in time to set up the bar I need to be like on call for that otherwise I have to do more editing and all of this kind of stuff really 
So that was, that was a rough thing. And then Saturday, Sunday, I think on my own, which means I will spend them working and not sleeping properly. I'm just hoping for Christ's sake, just let's just get this fucking house sorted, mate. Because I need to... I need to do the logistics of like, I need to hire a skip to get some stuff out of here. I need like a, someone to help me move. I need like, it could literally be that I find out, oh yeah, I'm moving in tomorrow. And it's like, well great, well I need loads of stuff. Like, so I don't know man, I don't know. All right, so I made a uh, vegan vegetable curry. It's uh, what is it, a madras I think? It's a spicy one anyway. We've got some mango chutney here just from that jar, poppadom various vegetables, tofu, and I am watching Broken Sword. This is, uh, what's her name? Something bear. Something bear. Zen bear. She's playing Broken Sword 5. Great series of games. Hey Biggie, are you comfy there? A little fly by your head. You're sitting on my Christmas tree. Because Daddy half packed a bag and has left it. And now it's your favourite sitting spot. Yes, that's right, isn't it? Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she doesn't have a lot to say. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, but she changed from day to day. Wanna tell her that I love her a lot, but I gotta get a belly full of wine. Her Majesty's a pretty nice girl, someday I'm gonna make her mine. Oh yeah, someday I'm gonna make her mine. Thank you. Everybody, Dane and Biggie here. Yes, you can say hello to the internet. Mm. Oh, you smell good. You've been cleaning again. We had some nice cuddles, haven't we? Let's pop you down then. Biggie's been sleeping on my uh, guitar case, haven't you, Biggie? Shall I move out of the way? Uh, we got some books to talk about. So it is currently it is currently 10:23 p.m. on uh, Saturday, the 14th of August. So it was open mic night last night. Uh, I worked the bar in the end. I played some songs as well though. So I might even put some footage in here that Dave took on his camera. Uh, we will see. And yeah, it was good. Got back about midnight. Was up till about 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Fell asleep, woke up at 6 p.m. today. So I'm now probably gonna try and stay up all night and then just go to bed relatively early tomorrow night. Uh, reading wise, I don't think there's anything else to say. There is an event happening at the art center tonight. Well, it's finished now. Um, some other people were working and there was also some live music and stuff happening. I saw my friend Jordana, got a hug, that was nice. Oh, house stuff. The, the seller has now sold, sent me the info that he sent to his solicitors. But I think legally he can't send it to my solicitors and I can't forward it on to them. So it's like I've now got the info we need. But his solicitors need to send it to my solicitors and they're not doing it. So we're just stuck waiting. So I don't know. And the guy who owns this property is selling it. So I'm gonna to have to move out of here regardless now, which potentially means that I'm gonna be homeless in a month or so. So that'll be interesting to see. Luckily, Grandma said she's gonna take us in, hasn't she, Biggie? So I might have to put my stuff into storage and me and Biggie go and live with my mum for a bit. Um, but I don't really wanna do that because Biggie, you don't like driving, do you? He doesn't like cars, so like a two hour journey. He has panic attacks, basically. Like you can see him hyperventilating and stuff. So I don't wanna subject him to a two hour car journey. Anyway, reading wise, I finished reading Corrings by Stephen Colgan. Very solid, four out of five, uh, would recommend. Full review coming soon. I've even thought about sending this to Charlie Heathcote because I think he'd enjoy it. Uh, we will see. Then I read last night in bed, uh, Le Combat des Chefs par Argosinier Ederso. Uh, C'est un livre d'Asterix. Uh, C'est un bon dessinaire en français. Uh, a graphic novel en anglais. Uh, C'est très bien. Uh, numero 8-ish, je ne sais pas, uh, alors c'est uh, beaucoup de humeur. Um, uh, the druid loses his memory, can't remember how to make the magic potion, there's going to be a big old fight. So yeah, very good. 4 out of 5, probably my favourite. Probably is my favourite actually, but I think I remember the story of this one. Uh, and now I'm reading Ringworld by Larry Niven. And uh, this, after I've read this, I'll be on 29 currently reading. Although it's time to buy some more books, so I'm going to do that soon.
<laughs> What's Daddy doing? Bop, 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 Ooh. Oh no, the belly's out. Bop, 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 Ooh, got the belly. Got the belly. Daddy's got the... Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'll leave you to it. I made some quinoa chilli and we're watching El Tamar play Baldur's Gate 2. Aren't we Biggie? Yes we are. Oh, fair enough. Hasn't been so oh yeah, tofu scramble with spring onions and I'm watching El Tamar games play Baldur's Gate 2 and I'm on low battery apparently and Biggie's down there and it's really early, it's like quarter to seven but hey ho. Hello, it is currently Wednesday the something of August. 18th because it's my mum's birthday on Friday. Uh, I haven't vlogged for a while, life has been hectic, you know how it is. I'm going to cut this vlog short now because it's been going for a few weeks and I'm going to start my next vlog. Basically so that the little update I give you now will be in the next vlog. So that maybe that'll just be a 10 day vlog or something. I'm trying to make sure it's not super long and then super short and all that stuff. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.